So welcome everyone. I am Rajneesh Gupta and this is our mock interview series for security analyst or SOC analyst. With me, I have Jamin Parthak who will be our interviewer and I'll be the candidate. So before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe the channel. And if you are an existing subscriber, please press the bell icon. The moment you do that, you get notified the moment we publish a new video. All right. So without taking much time, let's get started. So hi, Jamin. How are you? Hello, Rajesh. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for having me here, Jamin. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, so Rajesh, let's get started. Uh, sure. I have a questions on indicator of attacks. Okay. Okay. So what are the indicator of attack and how it is different from IOC? So, uh, uh, basically, indicator of attack is like a pattern. It's a, it's the activity or uh, or a behavior that indicates that the cyber attack is is going on. Maybe okay. Uh, when we look at the IOC, which is indicator of compromise, it's like an evidence. It's it is used as as an artifacts during the digital forensic that indicates that the system has been compromised okay uh, but indicator of attack is the is the pattern is the activity or it's a behavior or anomalous behavior as well that indicates that the attack is going on it's a or it's an imminent cyber attack okay so this is more this indicates more of an advanced kind of attack okay uh, that or I would say it indicates a pattern of attack. Okay. Uh, when we look at the indicator of compromise, that indicates uh, you know uh, different artifacts related to the malicious files or maybe IP address, maybe domain name or uh, hash and everything. But indicator of attacks is basically uh, indicates or highlights the TTPs, what we call uh, tactics techniques and procedures so uh ttps of attackers ttps of adversaries okay that's that's that uh, for example it could be lateral movement for example it could be privilege escalation Pro, for example it could be credential access or defense evasion or maybe persistence or uh, maybe uh, reconnaissance or initial access into the network um what is more important is the approach. What is more important is the timing. IOC is, is the indicator of compromise. It's more of reactive. It's used to identify and respond to the known indicator. Most of the time, known indicator itself after the incident has been occurred. Okay. But the IOA, the indicator of attack is more of proactive approach where we it helps us to identify potential uh, potential threat that's 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 in the early stage before the uh, system get compromised. Okay, so IOC is more of reactive in nature, and IOA is more of proactive in nature. So that's that's mainly the differences. Yeah. Okay, got it. So then, Rajesh, uh, tell me, how do you detect IOA? So. Uh, Basically, I, I to detect the IOA. I majorly, in my experience, I worked with the CrowdStrike Falcon EDR, and mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a really cool product. I really love uh, working with it. So, with the uh, with the CrowdStrike Falcon uh, tool, we have an option to create a custom. Although it has quite a lot of inbuilt, pre-built IOA rules, but we also have an option to create a custom IOA rules as well. So. In the CrowdStrike Falcon, uh, you know, we we get the custom rules. I mean, we get the list of default rules, but we can create some behavioral detection uh, based on certain application or environment or uh, uh, in, you know some commands or uh, process uh, options or executions as well. So this is pretty much possible. In my experience, I have done it with the CrowdStrike Falcon. I guess uh, with the other platform, the approach would be slightly different, but yeah, it, it, it's pretty much possible. So yeah. 
Okay, so that means you you love to work on cloud side, right? Right. Yeah. Can you tell me any custom IOA that you created on cloud side? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, uh, I I created many. Uh, I not not a lot, but I created uh, somewhere around uh, seven to eight uh, recently. So I created okay. recently. I created an IO, custom IOA rules to prevent any uh, execution from the uh, uh, prevent the execution of calculator application which we have in the Windows from command prompt. Okay. So because if you look at the regular user, the genuine or the uh, authentic user, right? They use the calculator uh, by getting going into the uh, program manager or going into the windows then they type calculator nobody really open the command pro or a calculator app by going into the command pro, right so uh, if it happens that most likely it's in it's a, it's the you know uh, attack or uh, you know, threat into the network so with the CrowdStrike, we have an option where we can uh, go to the custom ioa rule under the configuration tab that's where we have an option of adding a new rule. We can define the rule type as a process creation. And I created uh, I created that custom rule and I set the action to block the execution. I I because I it was the very first time that I was creating this rule, so I kept it uh, the severity of the rule. I kept it as informational, and uh, then I set the rule name description the basic information and then i defined the parent image file name the the command prompt so i i defined the command prompt file name uh cmd.exe then i set the parent command line and set the image file name as well which was uh calculator.exe so i which i think the file name is usually calc.exe and uh, so yeah that that's all we have to do and once we save the rule then we have an option to enable the rule. And once we do that, we can even test it ourselves by going to the command prompt and opening the calculator from there itself, and it worked well. So that was the very recent custom IOA, IOA rule that I recently created. So yeah. OK, you got it. Perfect. Yeah. So Rajneesh, this is all I have for today's interview. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jevin, for having me here. And now, uh, everyone, so this is the time where we uh, where we talk about some pro tip. First, we'll talk about pro tip. Then we'll get into some detailed explanation. Uh, uh, not into CrowdStrike, but especially into IOA and some TTPs. So first thing first, let's talk about the pro tips. Uh, uh, when 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 someone asks you about the indicator of compromise, or oh, sorry, indicator of attacks, uh, you you have to post, uh, you know, you have to be ready with the differences with the IOC. And second thing is, uh, uh, I I took an example from the CrowdStrike. You can you can take it from you can take any other platform as an example, like Sentinel One carbon black you if you are comfortable and you have an experience with that you can definitely talk about it if you are fresher you don't have any experience with any of those tools you can ignore it okay and uh, <laughs> you can uh, you if you have worked with uh, the free trial of any edr tool you can talk about it or even if not then you i would suggest you try my home lab from linkedin that's where I shared uh, EDR of multiple home labs uh, mm -hmm. like Wazoo EDR, uh, which you can try and learn how to create such IOA rules as well. Okay. Um, now let's talk about some detailed explanation. I'll share my screen. And in this video, we'll talk about the uh, MITRE attack framework. I suggest you going through this because IOA is nothing but the uh, you know these techniques okay so if you go visit attack.mitre.org uh, you will find the uh, enterprise matrix so what do you see on the top these are all tactics okay what do you see on uh, uh, in all the in this column these are all techniques okay and every techniques has got multiple sub techniques okay and every techniques then has 
then has got multiple procedures. So that is what we call as called as TTPs. Okay, tactics, techniques, and procedures. So I suggest you to be familiar with at least with the tactics. Okay, familiar with some of the common tactics used for creating IOA, uh, which are execution. I talked about we we discuss about an example where I covered the execution of a calculator application from command prompt. So this is what you should be really aware about. And under this, there are multiple te techniques available. You can't really remember all of them. I suggest you to remember at least the tactics. Okay, execution that persistence, privilege escalation is very very popular. Defense evasion, credential access, discovery, lateral movement, collection, command and control, exfiltration, and impact. So these are the important things that you should be aware about. Uh, if you have time, I suggest you go through some of the important and popular ones. So you know you can look at any of the techniques. At least you should be familiar with how to find specific techniques, techniques, application, or uh, attack campaign as well so you can look at the cti groups softwares as well so let's say if i search for a software and uh, you know there there could be multiple software which might be target for the attack campaign i can search for any desk this is not there uh, you can search for any other application uh, like uh, i'll show you bad rabbit uh, maybe if that application have been a part of the attack campaign or they it's the, their custom application or maybe it's the application which is used by the attacker uh, as a hacking tool. So that could also be covered into it. So these are all the tools and uh, assets, data sources, CTI groups as well. So these are a list of all the groups, which uh, these are the attacker group. Okay. And you will understand their TTPs as well. So let's say I go for uh, APT 38. So if once I search for APT 38, I'll come across all the techniques used by this uh, attacker or, or this threat actor, APT, okay? These are all their techniques. And if you look at, these are all their references. So techniques, and then we have softwares used by these attackers, like um, kill disk, maybe catch net, okay? So sometime if, uh, they could target a specific application as well or just like i tried any desk it could be a genuine victim software as well but in the in the software you will get to know about the softwares and the tools used by the attackers okay so if you go to any of the uh, techniques you will land to the same page and as i said earlier on the top you have tactics then you have techniques and then you have procedure. Procedure is all about step by step procedures, step by step, uh, you know, uh, you know, execution of the attack. So this is the technique name, and under this you have different procedures. So this is the first procedures where uh, you know this action was taken. Then this, the next action was taken. Then you have a mitigation. How to mitigate this by using the intrusion prevention. IPS, the network-based IPS, or maybe the uh, host-based IPS, how to detect it, and some of the references. So uh, for, for to, to be confident about these questions, I highly suggest you to at least be ready with the tactics, OK? At least be ready with the tactics. You should be comfortable with reconnaissance and all, all, the, all the techniques mentioned on the top, all right? So I hope this was useful for you. Uh, if you have any question, do let us know in the comment section. We would love to answer that. Uh, this is Rajneesh Gupta with Jamin Patak. Bye for now.